madam what are we going to discuss in this video actually whenever we start a series we should start with basics so i thought it would be better we start with environmental terms so here we go so first i thought it would be better we describe environment at the first stance actually this course is for the ba basic beginners and when we go into depth and we make videos we make it as that we lay foundation as well as advanced material that are required for an environmental series so here we come up with environment what is an environment in particular environment is nothing but a natural component that is nothing but a interaction between biotic and abiotic components okay, can you give examples for biotic and abiotic yeah it's a very good question because many people in general get confused between biotic and abiotic components biotic are nothing but it is biotic that means it is living components of the earth abiotic is nothing but non living components so uh, when we go into examples biotic are nothing but flora and fauna and abiotic are nothing but climate soil weather well, these are the types of abiotic components so here we come up with next habitat habitat is nothing but a physical environment in which interaction of species takes place so uh, i think you might get a doubt between habitat and environment so it is nothing but uh, can you differentiate between environment and habitat yeah uh, because many people get confused between environment habitat ecosystem these are very similar words and have similar concepts involved in it so when we come to habitat it is nothing but you know environment is a larger term habitat is a part of many habitat together make an eco environment so it is that one species interacting in a particular space is called habitat so many habitats together can make environment it is that all habitats are environment but not all habitats are i mean not all environment are habitats habitat is a part of environment yes so here we come up with ecosystem ecosystem is a community of organisms interacting it is that a uh, different community of organisms living in a space interact with them so here uh, we can have an example of forest and grassland as an example of ecosystem uh, can you explain detailly about ecological niche yeah ecological niche is nothing but a unique functional role and position of species here when we see a term called ecological niche everybody feels that is a very new term and generally face a uh, you know uh, a bit of doubt about the ecological niche term it is nothing but the functional role ecological niche sh shows what function an organism is uh, you know performing in a particular space for example a food niche and a reproductive niche it is that a particular organism hunting for uh, another organism let us take an example of tiger hunting a deer so when deer become a uh, food for many organisms in particular uh, so when ecological niches uh, meet together and they competition arises between organism it's so nothing but functional role it is a core part of an ecosystem that means the functional the sphere the platform at which this organism functions in an ecosystem is called as ecological niche yeah in environment we come across with basic terms which are flora and fauna yes uh, can you explain different i mean we get differentiate yeah i understand fauna. many students uh, you know uh, they generally both letter uh, both words start with f so they generally get tend to confuse the thing so here flora is nothing but the plant life that is present on the planet and here they prepare their own food flora is nothing but plant life fauna is nothing but the animal life and cannot prepare their own food see this is how you uh, should remember flora is plant life fauna is animal life Uh, madam apart from basic environmental terms yes. uh, we can we come across with the uh, relevant uh, current relevant yeah, environmental understand. institutions yeah you are so asking me about you, environmental yeah, institutions yeah can yeah. you explain regarding the environmental institutions clearly yeah actually whenever we read environment environment is something that is a burning topic of the decade or like from last 5 or 6 decades people around the world are talking about environment they are coming up with many organizations they are coming up with many agreements so here we are to explain you know i will explain the remaining terms of eco environment in particular when we will make another video but along with the you know explaining all the terms in a single video that would make it a monotonous video so i want you to engage with me in this video so that's why i am here to explain you uh, certain environmental institutions you know sites is one thing that we every time when we read an environmental magazine or when we go through current affairs or whenever we read a basic book on uh, any standard book on environment we come across this term 
Sites is nothing but Convention on Environ Envir Sorry, Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. So here it is nothing but it is a agreement that was uh, you know signed in 1963 but came into force in 1975 it's a legally binding agreement of members of IUCN which was uh, which was signed in washington so here it is that uh, when you come across sites we'll make a particular video about sites in detail because sites in itself is an you know majorly happening current affair uh, just to note here i would be telling you here one example india wants indian star tortoise to be you know upgraded from appendix 2 of sites agreement to appendix 1 what is appendix 1 and appendix 2 what are the lists and what is sites is all about we'll make a particular video of it you are saying are you are you seeing members sign sites yes so can you give a detailed explanation regarding uh, IUCN? yeah here we come up with IUCN. IUCN is nothing but International Union for Conservation of Nature. When I say nature, it includes both flora, fauna and the environment which protects it. Here it is that it is an initiative by both governments and civil societies. Here it is that it is started in the year 1948 and every year IUCN starts youth, I mean every four years it will come conduct a youth summit. IUCN has this, you know, uh, whenever you read environmental related any books or anything or current affairs for that matter, uh, you uh, certainly come across this newspaper article saying that uh, particularly this species uh, was critically endangered, endangered, least concern. You come across these terms. These are part of IUCN's red list. I mean, it, it releases, it has a book called Red Book. So, you have a list, red list and it is that they provide you critically endangered, endangered species. I mean, whenever a species, you know, near to extinction they have certain criteria they conduct uh, researches on it and they you know put the species in uh, if that animal needs that species or that animal needs uh, uh, you know higher amount of protection th this you know shows that the amount of uh, you know IUCN uh, shows that IUCN's red list shows that how much amount of protection and species just a species needs in order to you know survive itself so this is what uh, is about IUCN here so here we discuss about UNFCCC. UNFCCC is nothing but United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Here the major word is climate change. When you see, you know nothing about uh, UNFCCC but also when you see the term called climate change, it is basically about stabilization of greenhouse gases. See when we talk about environment, it is not only about the living organisms and the non-living organisms and the interaction between them but it is also about the atmosphere in which they are living, in which the environment they are living. So here UNFCCC is nothing but a convention. You know it was established in the year 1994. It is signed by, it is ratified by 197 countries. That means it's nearly universal in its nature. So you have to know certain points about it. I would be discussing it in detail but just throwing a light so that you understand the basic terminology when you read. So this is all about greenhouse gases. We will discuss it in detail but just to have a common understanding of it, I'm just explaining it here. So, unite. This is nothing but UNFCC is a United Nations entity. That means it's a part of United Nations. It's a program or it is an organization that is you know from United Nations. Ecoline, uh, can you detailly explain about the Ecoline? Yeah. See, in addition to the terms that I've explained you before today, here I am to explain about Ecoline. Ecoline is nothing but it is a gradually and continuously transition zone between two ecosystems ecosystems in a sense see you have coastal ecosystem you have terrestrial ecosystem the transition zone in between is called echo line it is an environmental gradient see using these terms why do i explain all these terms and where do you use them this should be you know very clear in your mind because when you explain these terms when you use these terms it shows the understanding you have in the subject the terms you know when you uh, always i say when you write a geography paper, write as if you are a geographer. That means use the terms that a geographer uses in particular. See, there's a difference between climate and weather. Many people say the climate is very good today. No, when you talk about today, it is a weather that is going on. So it is a basic difference that shows, you know, this person is different. This person is a geographer or not. That shows, you know, the particular terms and the terminology you use shows your, you know, understanding of the terms. So when you write an environmental answer, you should be very 
understanding about the terms you should be very crystal clear so that the words you use make sense in the paper and the person understands that you have a depth in the subject so these are the basic terms that i wanted to discuss with you along with the environmental terms we also discussed environmental institutions yeah so here uh, this is the video all about we will come up with more videos like this so you in order to you know have uh, access to us please subscribe to our youtube channel and we would like to give more information on particular today whatever environmental institution i have uh, discussed the, they are the basic understanding in order to just introduce those topics to you in future in particular we'll make up separate videos of it and the list list that uh, that particular institution declares and the agreements that they have signed and india being part of it or not and the what, what are the current we'll relevance come, we'll come yeah with the detailed explanation for everything yeah and thank you for watching this video please subscribe okay.